Simple, easy, awesome. Get our best deal of the year with DVR service free for a year and even more speed. Plus, ask how to save on your wireless bill when you include Xfinity Mobile with your internet. Click, call, or visit us today. Hello, I'm Deborah Alferone. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. We've got a lot of breaking news to get to tonight, including these, our top stories. Three people are dead, including the gunman and others injured after a shooting at a gaming tournament in Jacksonville. The FBI searched the Baltimore home believed to be connected to that shooter. We'll get a live report from that home in just a moment. And we hear from a Maryland man who was a prisoner of war with Senator John McCain, and he tells us how the two met at one of life's worst moments. And in Iowa, family and friends remember the life of Molly Tibbetts. The Iowa college student was found dead last week after being missing for more than a month. But we're starting tonight with that shooting out of Florida. Three people are dead, and that includes a suspected gunman after police say he opened fire on an e-gaming tournament in Jacksonville. The shooting happened as gamers were playing the popular Madden NFL 19 video game. That was around 1.30 this afternoon. In total, police say there were 13 victims. Two died, nine had gunshot wounds, two others sustained injuries, and the shooter took his own life. Everyone running for their lives. People were being trampled. People were hiding. Everybody was screaming in fear. Anything that you expect to see in there, something like this. Um, I was shot in the ankle, so when um, the shooting happened, me and a group of guys kind of just um, dove under the tables um, to um, kind of keep cover. And then uh, while the shooting happened, uh, a bullet ricocheted and um, hit my foot. And then once the shooting stopped, we all kind of just ran away. Um, I'm still shaken up, but I'm, I'm just happy to be out here and to be alive and to be able to go home to my family. And police say at this point they aren't looking for any other suspects. I just cannot imagine. Now, police believe the gunman is from Baltimore, a 24-year-old gamer named David Katz. Our Stephanie Ramirez is live outside of a home believed to be connected to this suspected shooter. Stephanie, what are you learning? Well, David, I can tell you this is a private townhouse-like community in South Baltimore. And that green door over my shoulder, that's where the ATF and FBI Baltimore have been searching for close to five hours this evening. This home, as you said, connected to the Jacksonville suspect. This is a family home believed to be connected to 24-year-old David Katz. We did actually just speak to a neighbor who said, uh, described Katz actually as someone who kept to himself. He said he didn't really know the suspect. Neighbors have been quietly watching here in Baltimore, where in D.C. earlier today, we found one family who was desperately looking for information. Another connected to our area is one of the survivors. He's a D.C. 19-year-old gamer named Drini Yoga. It's terrible. It's, uh, I don't know. It's unbelievable. His uncle tells us Every Yoga's day, parents you know, saw the news in so Albania, where they are visiting family. He described panic and shock trying to reach the 19-year-old. Every day, you know, be hoping that never happens this again, you know. And uh, you see every day happening, happening again. I don't know it's when it stops, and it's getting worse or getting better. It's not, it's not good. A school newspaper says Yoga graduated from Woodrow Wilson High School in Northwest D.C. and has been playing Madden since six years old. His uncle believes his nephew's close friend may have been killed. Yoga was tweeting during the Madden 19 tournament. One of his posts says, I will never take anything for granted ever again. Life can be cut short in a second. Yoga had tweeted out that he was shot in the thumb. He is going to be okay. Back on scene here, Maryland investigators are not offering any information on a motive. Florida investigators have not said so yet either. What we know is that one handgun was used to carry out the shooting and that the suspect, 24-year-old David Katz, died from a self-inflicted gunshot. We are here in Baltimore tonight. Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9. Still a lot to figure out. Stephanie, thank you. Now, investigators say they're not sure if Katz knew any of the other victims. All right, now we want to talk a bit about this tournament. It was a major deal for the e-gaming world. More than 150 people were participating in this two-day event, including players and spectators. It was a tournament for the game Madden, which is centered around the NFL. The winners earned a spot in the main event in Las Vegas with a chance to win.